Hello guys and welcome back. In this lesson, I am going to demonstrate how you can create and define new list styles for your lists if you don't want to use the pre-built or the default lists present in Word 2016. So it's very simple, you just need to focus and understand what I am demonstrating you because it is a little bit complicated as well at the same time and you need to focus in order to understand. So let's without any further ado move towards defining new list styles but just to recall where are our lists present so our lists are present in the home tab in our ribbon and in the home tab you have to navigate to the paragraph section and once you navigate to the paragraph section you have the first option which is the bullet points if you want bullet points you can insert them for example, if I if you want this bullet point, you can hover over this and click this if you like it. Similarly, it's the same thing with the next bullet points. And the next thing is the numbering. If you want to number your headings present in your Word document. And the third thing is the multi-level list. So the multi-level list is what we made in one of our uh, in the previous lesson that I created and in that lesson I told you that in multi-level lists the first heading is automatically created as the level 1 heading the second heading is given the option A which is which will be the second level heading and so on the third one will have the Roman one and the fourth one will have the one with a dot so in this lesson we are going to be defining new list styles if you do if we don't want to use the pre-built list present in word 2016 so how can you define new list style so you need to navigate to this list over there over here in your ribbon and then go to define new list style at the very very bottom of this list library so once you click this you get a dialog box which says define new list style first of all you need to work with the properties you need to give it a name so let's say let's give it a name clay desk lists great now once you've given a name now you need to start formatting your list or in other words modify your list so you need to first check that on which level of the heading you need to start on and you want uh, it to be level 1 heading, level 2 heading, level 3 and so on. So basically and many times we start off with the level 1 heading. And then you need to apply formatting to the first level, the second level, the third level, the fourth level and so on. So the first level is this line over here which is the level 1 heading. The second line will be our A line which is which will be the second level heading. The third one will be the Romans numbers line and the fourth one will be the one dot line. So let's first go with the first level heading. So you can choose the font which you want in the first level heading. Let's go with Calibri body over here. Choose the font size to be 14. Give it a color black. Do you want it bold or in italics or do you want it underlined? You can choose if you like to be like them to be in bold, italics, or underlined. Then you need to select that should it be in numbers or should it be in bullet points. The and we're talking about the first level heading right now because you can see the preview over here as well. That when I change this to bullet, the one sign over here with closing brackets change to the bullet sign. So let's go back to numbers and in this selection area, you can see that it says that you have to choose either one two three one two three over here one two three in romans capital abc or small abc so if i choose capital abc over here you notice that the one changes to a so let's keep it one two three for now and then we've met with these options b before also in our previous lessons do you want this in only this document or new documents based on this template? So let's go with only in this document. 
and the next thing that you need to do is click format and once you click format you need to go to numbering click numbering and it opens up another dialog box which says modify multi-level list so now this is the advanced modification of the lists that you are creating so you can either select the levels from here whether you want to work on level 1 level 2 level 3 and so on so let's start off with level 1 again enter formatting for the number and number style for this level whether you want it to be 1 2 3 a b c and so on and then you want the number alignment should the number be aligned to the left to the centered or to the right similarly you want a text indent that how much space should should there be between the number and the text so let's keep it 0 0.5 and it should be aligned at how much near to the text so let's keep it at 0 0.344 let's say and you can set it for all levels let's close this for now and then you need to click more over here for more advanced options and once you click more you notice that you have some more options that you can do with your lists so you can link level to style which style do you do you want to use and just to recall in one of our previous lessons we created our code style by ourselves so you can also use this style in your list as well so let's go with no style right now you can guess the list number list name and you can start at one two three four and just this is just the same as we did in our define new list style it's just a little bit advanced from it so once you're done with all of this you simply need to click OK and click OK over here as well so you notice that if you go to this list over here you will see your list as well and that list will be right over here in list styles which is clay disk list that we have created so if I choose this you notice that the format changes and if I tap this it will change to A if I tap this again it will change to 1 in the Roman sign and if I tap this again it will change to 1 dot similarly let's get rid of this for now and start with another document for example I have the United States the country and I'm going to highlight this and choose our clearest list great now let's press enter give it a tab and you notice that it, this will now be the second level heading or the subheading of the heading level one which is United States so let's add Wisconsin and if I press enter it will keep me in the second level heading which means that I can add either more states of the United States or I can go to the cities present in these states so for example Kenosha and you can see that I have the first level heading I have now the second level heading and the third level heading so this is how you can create your own lists modify them and design them in whatever way you like you can either change the font of this particular heading level and so on so stay tuned stay focused I hope you learned and let's move to our next lesson